I worked really hard on my picture for Grandma, but Chloe just scribbled hers. Why does Grandma love them both? She loves your pictures because of who they came from, not because of how good they are. Happy Sunday and welcome to Keys for Kids. I'm so glad that you're listening today. My name is Zach. Have you thought about getting your parents Christmas gifts this year? If you and your siblings all gave them gifts, well, whose gift would they love best? Now, I bet they'd love them all, no matter what the gifts were, because they got them from you. It's like that with God, too. He doesn't love you because of what you can do for him. He already loved you enough to send his son Jesus to save you, even before you were born. But because of his love for you, he loves every gift you give him, too. Our story today is To Grandma with Love. Grandma will like this, Cade thought as he worked on a picture. She'll probably take it home and put it up somewhere. He finished drawing a house, then worked on trees and clouds. Cade enjoyed art, and his teacher had told him he had a talent for it. There, he said, looking over the finished picture. Nearby, Cade's five-year-old sister, Chloe, worked on a picture of her own. Mine's done, too, she said, holding it up. Cade scoffed at it. What's Grandma going to do with that? Just looks like scribbling to me. Chloe scowled at him and left the room. When Grandma arrived, Cade gave her his drawing. My, this is good work, Cade, Grandma exclaimed. Then she turned to Chloe, who was shyly holding out her picture. Grandma took it and exclaimed over it, too. These are both going on my refrigerator, she said. Cade scowled. When Cade and Grandma were alone a little later, she asked him about it. Don't you want me to put your picture up? she asked. Sure, but you made it sound like Chloe's was as good as mine, Cade replied. It's not half as good. Hers is just scribbling. Why would you like it? I could see the love that went into it, Grandma explained. I saw that Chloe had worked just as hard to please me as you had. Maybe it wasn't done with a practiced hand as yours was, but the love was there, and she did what she could. Cade nodded slowly. I guess that means you'd love me just as much if I weren't good at drawing. You're absolutely right about that, said Grandma. I love you because you're my grandson, not because of what you can do. And you know what? That's the way God loves us, too. We don't need to do anything for him to love us. He already loves us so much he sent Jesus to save us so we could be his children. And he's always delighted by our gifts. We may see some actions or deeds as being small or unimportant, but they're important to God because he notices the love that's put into them. Giving a helping hand, a friendly smile, or an encouraging word is just as important to God as anything else we could do to serve him. So what about you? Does what you do for God seem less important than what others do for him? <laughs> it's not. On the other hand, perhaps you think that what you do for him is more important than what others do, and that's not true either. God sees the love that goes into each deed, no matter how big or small it seems to you. Everything we do in response to the love he has shown us is precious in his sight. Our key verse is found in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 8. She has done what she could. And our key thought today, serve God with love. Hey, if you'd like to spend more time with God every day, you can get the Keys for Kids devotional books in the mail for free. It's an easy way to grow closer to God. When you sign up, you'll receive a printed copy every three months with each day's story and Bible verses to read. Plus, you'll get bonus coloring and activity pages too, along with the Hey Zach question in every copy. Ask your parents for help to sign up for a free subscription to Keys for Kids when you go to keysforkids.org slash getkeys. That's keysforkids.org slash getkeys. I'm Zach. This is Keys for Kids, a listener-supported ministry. Keys for Kids.